Hi there, welcome to the conclusion for the little comparison I did between the Tokina and Metabone Speed Booster and the Olympus 12mm F2 lens. Um, the, the main focus was just to find out if at uh, 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 16 mil on the Tokina, which gives you a very, with the speed booster, gives you a very similar field of view of the 12 mil. Would it be at all comparable? Because that basically gives you F2 on this lens, F2 on this lens. Plus, and it's a wee bit bigger, but if you don't mind that, you've got that huge zoom range, constant F2. So obviously something that's well worth testing and finding out. What I found was, obviously there's a few benefits to this. You've got the, the size and weight, as we know, but then it is a prime. Um, it's, you've got closer focusing distances, you've got smoother uh, bokeh out of fo focus rendering. Um, but the most interesting thing was with the, the Tokina, when, when you focused, um, obviously, you know, it's a wide angle lens, a lot of the time you're going to shoot a wide shot of just uh, stuff in the distance. And um, wh when you focus on the, the horizon, what I found was sometimes it just wasn't sharp in the distance and what was actually in focus was a lot closer to the to the, the to, you know to the camera um, I say sometimes because I've reconduct reconducted the tests and occasionally it looks sharp and I'll show some examples just over this as I'm talking and um, yeah so it's, it's a wee bit puzzling because obviously when you've got it in manual focus it's got a hard stop so you focus to infinity and you can't go any further so I'm not sure quite why. I've got a feeling that it's got something to do with when you zoom. So if you like focus to infinity and then zoom out or zoom in, you know, that was affecting the the actual focus. So anyway, it's, it's a strange one, strange one, kind of non-conclusive in regard to why that was. But um, but thanks again for watching. Uh, obviously, um, you know, basically, if you want to know what I would go for. You know, uh, they've both got their attributes. You know, uh, this thing can go much wider at f2. You know, which is amazing. So, um, but you know, I guess you take take from it what you will. Um, I've also got something a little added bonus for you. I thought I'd do a little flare test since the sun actually came out. I'm recording this in the UK, and we don't get a lot of sun, but uh, especially this summer, it's been horrendous. But um, yeah, I thought I'd do a little flare test. And I threw in uh, a mystery lens, and uh, and if you're intrigued what that is, just uh, just ask, and I I may reveal. Mm -hmm.